Hello everyone. I pray you are doing well. I pray you are doing blessed. I pray that everything is going well in your life. I pray that your life is leading you to Jesus Christ and staying on that path. Let me say this, and I am not a Democrat and I am not a Republican. I am not. I believe both sides are evil. Now, there may be, I guess, good people in, in them, I guess, I don't know. But I believe both sides are evil. Honestly, I believe they are kind of, in a sense, working together as one, but trying to make it seem like they are not together, if you understand what I am trying to say to you. Anyways, I guess some people may say that the election was stolen from Donald Trump. Okay. Who cares? And please listen to what I am going to say. I believe things are worse now than when he was in office. But why are things worse? Can you say, well, it is the wrong people in government and mess like that. That is not the main issue. The main issue is our lives. How we choose to live our lives. And if you read in the Old Testament and if you read in the New Testament, I believe you will see in a way how God does particular things we know we everyone may not know everything of the bible which i don't know everything of the bible but in a way we know right from wrong we may not have the same mental capacity but i believe many of us know right from wrong so when a nation starts to do very, 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 very evil, I believe God allows bad things to happen to that nation. America is getting, the United States is getting, yes, the United States is getting worse and worse, like doing much evil. If the people would stand against the evil, I don't even think much of the things that are happening, the bad things that are happening in the United States, I don't think they would happen if the people would act right. So it's not about Biden. It's not about Harris. It's not about this person or that person. It's all of us well you know the president isn't doing right why is he being allowed listen to what i am saying why is he allowed to do what he is doing it is because of us i believe we are cursing ourselves by choosing to live an evil lifestyle you may think I am crazy for what I am saying. You may think I don't know what I am speaking about. Why is it almost every president we put in, like, honestly, does, with all these presidents, what really have changed? With all of these presidents, what really has changed? Honestly, I believe 
what you may hear is this person pointing their finger at another person, that person pointing their finger at another person. It is not about who is in government. I believe God is in control of everything. So why is he allowing all these things to happen? I believe it is because of us. If you go back to the Old Testament and the book in the book of Deuteronomy, I believe it is in chapter 28, uh, maybe starting at verse 13 or 14, somewhere around there. I believe it spoke about the curses that will come upon you. I believe back then it was the nation of Israel. The curses that will come upon you if you choose to live against God. And what is, what are we doing now? What are many of us doing now? We are choosing evil. We are choosing wrongdoing. So the mess that is happening to the United States and probably other countries as well, I see this stuff as punishment. I see it as punishment. Why wouldn't we get punished if we are allowing all this evil in our country? Think about it. So you can bring back Donald Trump. You can bring back this person or this righteous, so-called righteous person. If the people aren't willing to change, what can that person really do? What? I hope this makes sense. So stop talking about this person or these people stole the election. It is not about that. Like your focus, stop focusing on, it's like you see the surface, but not the depth, if that makes any sense to you. You are looking, you are scratching at the surface, but you are not really digging deep. What is going on? We need to change our lives. We can probably get the best person in the world to lead all the countries or America, should I say the United States, and I believe things will still go wrong if the people are choosing evil. Like, for instance, when Moses was over the nation of Israel, or should I say the children of uh, Israel, not so much children, but the adults too, adults and children, many bad things were happening to them because they were choosing to do wrong. What are we doing now? Aren't we doing wrong too? It's not about Biden. It is not about Harris. It's not about Trump. It's not about that person or this person. Irrelevant. Those people are irrelevant. It is about us. If we change, if we choose to serve God, things will get better. No one can make... America great again until we turn our lives to Jesus Christ. Let me stop here. May God bless you.